I have a confession to make. All of these big, glorious, bulging, juicy muscles, that they're, they're all a facade. They're fake. I'm a fake. And I know what you're thinking. Miola, just do a couple push-ups. Do a couple bicep pumps. You'll be right. It just doesn't work. Nothing works. It's all from within the head. I gotta wipe it clean. Remove every memory, every skill, everything about me needs to go. Today we head out on a mental journey. <laughs> what am I even saying? We're gonna go to some dangerous places to harvest the resources so I can get a mind wipe tonic and make myself stronger. Hang around to the end to see how this mess unfolds. Spoiler alert, it's not pretty. So you're probably wondering why we're starting today's video from the menu screen. Well, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a Najee. Oh, come on, man. I can't catch a break. I can't catch a freaking break. Ah, <sighs> lovely. Well, anyways, let's hope my dead corpse just can, like, distract that Argentavis for a little while. While I, I guess, get the means to take him on. Where did it go? Where did it go? How does this keep happening? We die to something and then it just disappears. Hold on. I saw wings. I can see a shadow. Where's the sun? I'm trying to work out. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Okay. That's kind of haunting. Well, at least he was kind enough to let me get my stuff back. But the question is, how long is he going to be kind enough? Because I feel like it's only a matter of time before he returns down here to give me a hard time. Let's quickly, while we have the opportunity, go and repair some of this armor. Because clearly, I have... Well, I need protection. And I need every little bit of help that I can get. Where's my metal at for a start? Oh, that shadow is absolutely terrifying. Get the metal in there. Let's get this whole set. Oopsie. Let's get it all repaired. So then we can at least, I don't know, survive a couple, a couple attacks. That's all, that's all I need. Just a few little nibbles. Should be enough. I don't even know where he's gotten to. I think he's like literally... Wait, where did he go? Oh, oh, he's coming down. We should, should we go and get rid of him real quick? I think the answer is obvious. If I don't get rid of him, I think he's going to get rid of me. Hello, friend. It is I. And for whatever reason, you have absolutely no interest in me this time around. Okay, then. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and do it. We're just going to go ahead and... Man, why am I having frame lag? I'm having frame drop C right here. Come on, mate. Oh, my gosh. I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh, my God. The lag. If this RG don't kill me, the lag's going to do it for sure. I'm actually getting the better of him. Is he going to come back for more or is that it? Have I scared him away? Because I don't need to kill him if... Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as he ain't returning, I'm not turning my back on him, just for the record. I need to watch him like a hog to make sure that he is gone for good. I think we're safe. All right. I still don't trust him. But I guess we're just going to have to. Anyways, like I said... Oh my gosh, I forgot how hideous this skull is. But like I said, we are leaving the base today, but in a different kind of fashion. We're actually going to achieve something. I can't live like this any longer. I need to restat. I need a rewipe of my stats. I need to go and realign them, fix them up, which means we are going to be heading into pretty dangerous territory. We need some rare mushrooms and some rare flowers. To get those, we either head into the swamp or the top of the mountains. Either way... Uh, both are probably going to spell certain death. So we're going to need a team that can help us get through that with as little death and destruction as possible. I was kind of thinking we need to go and tame a Tyrannodon. What is with me breaking my back? Put the pike away. Then we can at least stand up like kind of normally. Or say take that off as well because it's darn hideous. I need to tame myself a Tyrannodon. And not a baby Tyrannodon this time. Not a dead Tyrannodon either. A Tyrannodon that can actually fly me around and... Just kind of just get me in and out of situations nice and fast. I feel like it is the first next kind of logical step in our advancement. Also, there is another Argy down here with us. So that's that's not good. But before we go and find one, before we go and knock one out, we're going to need a few things. We've got all of these arrows in here, but unfortunately, they're mostly useless to us. We do have these six over here. So what I was thinking we could do with these is turn them into regular Trank arrows. I'm probably only going to need a couple, but I'll go and craft them all up just in case. In case you've missed the memo, these special X arrows can only fire from a certain bow. A certain bow that I unfortunately do not have. We do have a crossbow though, so we can use that one there instead with the little regular Trank arrows here. And that RG is down on the beach yet again. I'm sure a bunch of you out there are probably thinking, why don't you just tame the Argentavis? Well, I could if my little organic poison rifles were working but as you can see i need fertilizer to do that i also need docks apex plant species x seeds and i'm pretty sure i don't have any of those either can i even craft some of those maybe oh no not socks we're looking for docks um i need the purple ones i didn't even i don't even know how to get them I, I, this one 
Apex plant species X seeds. We need rare flowers for those as well. And plant species X seeds, which, yeah, obviously we do not have either of those. So that's something we can keep an eye on on this little adventure once we get our Teratodon, of course. For now, we just need to work out where we're going to knock this thing out. And I guess make sure we've got everything to make it happen. Prime meat would be essential. We've got some narcotics so we can keep a dinosaur actually sleeping. So that'll be handy. We might even be able to passive tame this thing. Let's just go and get rid of these rifles here so we can save a little bit of weight in our inventory here because as you know we can't really carry around much weight at the moment we just need to find ourselves a pteranodon i'm gonna head over this way yeah first off i suppose i can already see a few little troubled friends like you what did you take he took my bowler no he knocked it out my hands that's okay that's okay <laughs> you absolute pest i knew you were gonna come and be a oh gosh can i i actually can't <gasps> All right, well, there goes that idea, I guess. He just stole my 24 narcotics. And I don't think I'm getting those. Oh, you absolute pile of trash. Well, there goes that idea, okay? So now I don't even have what we need to keep a dinosaur down. So I need to go and get some new narcotics. Wait a second. We got like 54 in here. Oh, we're good. Don't you worry. Although maybe I should leave some of these at base because, you know, we run into another itchy thornus and he decides he has a taste for narcotics. Uh, we might be losing the rest of them as well. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just wing this thing. All I need is a Pteranodon, and I'm sure we're bound to find one pretty soon. That's it. I can see a Pteranodon. First one. It's that beautiful one I was looking at the other day. But what we are going to do is knock this sucker out right this second. Oh, <laughs> nearly escaped. See, it wouldn't even have surprised me if I actually missed that bowl up. But I'm quite glad I didn't. Hopefully, we have enough arrows here. Yes. Okay, fantastic. The next question is, yeah, how quick is that going to drop? pretty quickly by the looks of it i'm hoping the hunger though drops nice and fast as well no can you not can you not do that oh my gosh you would do that you actually would you actually would go and kill my pteranodon mm. i should have i should have wiped out the area first and i i, I, I oh, that actually hurts so bad well i'll take those back um you know what i'll go and take this guy down really quickly too stinking bird all right yeah you know what i'm not seeing anything too helpful over this side of the beach so maybe we go and check the other side well at least oh hello oh <laughs> that is a good looking pteranodon all right i found my guy i think what i was gonna say though was at least all of the threats over here have been taken down by now how did i run straight past that one does not matter. Uh, first things first, I want to see if I can actually passive tame this guy before I go and ditch a bowler at its head or shoot an arrow at it. Yes, you can. Why did I just do that to begin with? Also, the Titan Overlord is still over here somewhere. Not ideal, but we'll just ignore that for the time being. We've got our on it. We can get out of here. Oh, that's good. That's good. Wait, I should have just done that in the first place instead of going and bouldering that one before. But it's all good. It's all good. <gasps> Oh, it's another baby. Can I just passive tape you as well? I can. If only I could pick you up and carry you back to base. That would be the best thing in the world. Hey, do you, you want to... Oh, I don't have no idea how I'm going to get this little baby back to base. He's just so darn cute. Funny how I even went and explicitly mentioned we weren't going to be taming a baby Pteranodon, only to quickly thereafter tame a baby Pteranodon. You know what? You're probably safe for here. As long as... I leave you with a little bit of food first. I'll come and collect you another time, okay? But you're probably safer out of my watch. So, but no, no, no. Okay, hold on a second. We might be in a bit of trouble here. There is a pack of Allosauruses up here with us. We're just going to keep... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm making the same mistakes I made yesterday. Same cliff and everything. Don't take more damage. Mm, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Kind of panicked, but kind of survived it and somehow evaded... The two Allosauruses up there that I probably should have just tamed. And you know what? If I had the fertilizer plant guns, probably could have. But I don't have the fertilizer plant guns. Which is, I guess, why we got to go and kill some more Apex dinosaurs soon. Either way, though, we've got this pink beauty right here. So you just land yourself. Let me quickly see if we've got everything we need. I'm pretty sure they're killing this Trilobites the other day has gotten us the kite to go and get ourselves a Pteranodon. So that's awesome. Saddled up. And you know what I'm actually going to bring with me here? I'm going to bring with me some kibble. If we do find something that might like some of that kibble, we can obviously use it today to, well, I don't know, speed up the tame process, I guess. Also, an alpha triceratops. All right, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. We've got ourselves a task. We're getting this mind wipe tonic. We're going to wipe out our stats. 
I'd need some flowers and mushrooms. So where are we going to find these two resources? Well, the swamp is the perfect location to go looking for mushrooms. I can already see the giant mushroom trees down there. And now that we have ourselves a pteranodon, we should be able to swoop down, harvest some, and get our butts out of there pretty darn quick. The downside is crocodiles, caprasuchuses, snakes, insects, bugs, baryonyxes, anything else in the swamps that wants us dead will likely do so pretty easily. And in fact, I can see a Capro down here. Where did he go? There he is. Can you see him? Look at him. If he gets even the slightest little sense of us, he's going to spear tackle me straight off this Tyranodon and kill the both of us. So that's kind of the danger element. Let's see if we can find a nice little safe spot. Preferably, maybe near these Parises. I feel like these guys would be... Oh, I can already see, I can see some little mushrooms on the ground as well. We can just pick those instead um or uh yeah you know what let's just let's just yeah let's just let's just go for it um you know what <laughs> we're already actually hold on i just saw a capra suit just oh <laughs> yeah no no thank you very much um in fact what is going on over here they're fighting something there was oh we got sarcos and capros and dilos and all sorts okay yeah no this isn't this isn't the spot there's another one right here as well this oh we got snakes too okay yeah this was my concern <gasps> hold on we have a lone little mushroom here it's probably not gonna give us the amount that we need but it might be enough it might be enough well it won't be enough there's no way it'll be enough but i'm still gonna go for it anyways we got all right no rare mushrooms i forgot they don't give you rare mushrooms no we need the giant mushroom trees to do that <sighs> Okay, we're good. Just a little snake bite. Nothing too <laughs> intense. Also, hey. Is there a cave here? I forgot about this. I think last time I played on this map, I literally looked for this cave and I could not find it for the life of me. We might not find any mushrooms in here, but... <gasps> no, maybe we will. Hold on a second. Let me brighten things up a little bit. Um... Well, they kind of look... Yes, you can get mushrooms in here. Okay, we might have just hit the jackpot. In fact, there's one right here, and I don't see anything too dangerous in the area. Not only that, though. These. These beautiful fellas right here that aren't giving me the resource that I need. Oh, that's because I was breaking a rock. But there it is. We got crystal. We finally got crystal. You know what that means? Spyglass, baby. We're finally getting ourselves a sp uh, spyglass. I don't know why for a second there. I forgot how to pronounce spyglass. You know what else we got? Three rare mushrooms. Is that it? How many did I need to get this mind wipe tonic? Because I guarantee you it's a lot more than three. 40. We need 40. Awesome. Well, my Tyranodon, hold on to all of this for me, please. Because as you know, the whole purpose we're out here right now on this adventure is i can't carry a lot of resources so i need you to help me out i wonder if i was gonna say is there a difference between hatchet or pickaxe and i think the hatchet is actually i think we're better off using the hatchet all right so far it doesn't seem that there's any threats in the area so that's really really good i'm just gonna keep on i'm just gonna run around this area i suppose and collect as many mushrooms as i can until I see, I don't know, a reason not to go any further. Excuse me? Um, what? Did I do that? I th think I just did that. Do, 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 do. Let's grab all the important stuff that I need right now. Do, 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 do. You didn't see anything. I really don't like the idea of running into this water, but these trees are really good for rare mushrooms. Oh, get out of town. All right, there's a spino. I see those spino frills. I see that sail. I'm getting my butt out of here. Well, in good news, guys, I'm pretty sure we've got all of the rare mushrooms that we need. All 40 that we needed. 43. So we got a little bit of room. We can let a couple of them spoil if we don't get back to base in time. The downside now, though, is I don't really have a good way out of here. We are in the swamp without a flyer to get us out of here. 
surrounded by caprasuchus, sakasuchus, snakes, insects, meganuras, absolutely anything that wants to eat us alive. And I somehow need to get home in one piece. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. All right, home sweet home. So, should we assess the situation? In good news, we've got the mushrooms sorted. In bad news, we now need to get the flowers. What's so bad about that news? Well, to get them, I think we need to go to the top of these mountains or deep into the swamps. Unfortunately, the caves aren't going to suffice for this one here. And the worst part is I've got no way of doing either without you know putting myself in harm's way so we're gonna need ourselves another tame and i'm looking at one of these pteranodons out here unfortunately both of them seem to be preferring the ocean to the beach right now also that doesn't look like an apex down there so we're good this one here would be awesome if it were to fly into the beach but he doesn't look interested in sand i guess it's too coarse and it gets everywhere and other bad news i just looked at the top of that mountain and although i can't see all the way up there i'm pretty sure i can see the head of a dodo rex all right that actually needs to be looked at well now that we've got our crystal we can actually do this in fact what is that hold on is that just the dock super spy glass Ooh. Detailed stats shows wild tamed level up points, variable zoom and increased range. Do we want one of these or do we want one of these? Let's try this one here. Unfortunately, need, we need cementing paste to make that happen. So let's craft some of that up. Hopefully we've got everything that we need to get 10 of those. We do. Okay. Let's see how this guy here compares to the awesome spyglass. Here we go. So, oh yeah, I like that. I like being able to do that. All right, we can finally see things from a distance and see what we're dealing with without going up and kissing them first. That is awesome. And I'm for... Yep, okay, I knew it. Oh, ooh, that ain't just an ordinary Dodo Rex either. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, that's not good. Oh, that is really not good. That actually is the worst thing in the world. You know why that's the worst thing in the world? If he takes five steps in this direction, he's going to hit this edge of the rock. And you know what happens next? He's going to fly all the way down here. And I guarantee you, if he makes it that far, if he if he's in that general spot right there, he's going to aggro onto us and we're dead. Our base is dead. Everything on this beach is dead. Everything we've come to know and love over the last five days is dead. But lucky for us, it looks like he seems to be stepping in the other direction. So hopefully he continues to do that. I think the best course of action is just to pretend that he's not there. We're just going to ignore him, pretend he doesn't exist. And maybe the, he'll pretend we don't exist. I don't like our chances. Now back to those Tyranodons. Where do they go? Oh my gosh, he's right in our base. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. <gasps> um, You know what? It's going to drop off the cliff, take some full damage, give you some prime meat. And then... You wait right here. Wait right here. Wait right here. I have, unfortunately, an alpha dialo that needs dealing with who's going to run away from me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. You're dead. And stay back, Tyranodon. Otherwise, I'm probably going to kill you just like I killed your predecessor. Do not come near me. I am dangerous. <laughs> I need to... Yeah, I need to watch where I'm poking my pike. Unfortunately, now we're out of guidance. Are you joking? I... That actually sucks. Just doing a quick little Dodo Rex check and I can see more of him than I've ever seen before. And that makes me feel very uneasy. Lucky for me when we were over here taming the... Oh, nope. That's not very lucky. Oh, you... Oh, it's okay. You can take my berries. I don't need my berries. It's not those berries anyway. First shot. When I was over here getting my Pteranodon earlier, I noticed there was a Trilobite on the beach. So the Chitin is no longer a problem. And now we should have everything we need for that Pteranodon saddle. Nice. Just going to drop our mushrooms off here just in case things go horribly wrong in a second. Also going to drop off all of these resources because, well, yeah, it kind of goes without saying. Man, you're a beautiful looking dude too. Have the saddle and let's do this thing. Although we're going to go over this way because, yeah, Dota Rex up there got me feeling a little uneasy. To think there's this whole dino ecosystem living just up the cliff from our base. We got Stegos, we got Ankies, we got so many... Th oh, Dodecurises. Hyenodons, yep, we were well aware of their existence. I kind of don't 
whoa now i i, I kind of yeah gosh i actually want to harvest those bushes to okay that's i don't know if that's good or bad to be honest luring them down the cliff just brings them closer to our base but it kind of gets them out of our way for the time being i guess you know what i'm just gonna keep on moving or am i going to actually attempt this if i dismount my dead i don't like these dogs and this time around i don't have the weapon to take them down either now do these give me I thought these might have given me rare flowers. How about if I use my sickle? No, nope, just fiber. Okay, okay, okay. How about crystal? Doesn't crystal give you sometimes a bit of rare flowerage? Well, unfortunately, that didn't go according to plan. But I do want to try some more of these little red plants because there are a few of them up here and I'm, I'm pretty sure these give me rare flowers. I just don't know what I'm like best off harvesting these with. But so far, we're like on a 0% hit rate. And I'm also kind of terrified because I don't know what's going to drop on my head from like higher up this cliff. Um, maybe I need like a dinosaur or something to harvest these. Oh, there's one rare flower. Only 39 to go, 38 to go. <laughs> if I keep on going at this rate, this is going to take a long old time. I guess they're called rare flowers for a reason. I guess the other option is beaver dams. We could go and see if we can find some beaver dams like nearby. Those often have rare flowers. And if we can find one beaver dam, we should be set. Also, just had an idea. I can see a little, I don't know, structure of some sort up here. I wonder if it has a um survivor note and if it does i will yes it does nice 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 i'll at least be able to get my tyrannid on here some some boosted experience so that's awesome three levels just like that just from what collecting that fantastic that's what i want to see let's get some levels into speed that way we can at least move around a little bit quicker should probably go and chuck some levels into health <laughs> that way i don't accidentally kill my dude in one hit completely accidentally of course but alternatively what we could also look into is the swamps also i have never seen one of these guys out in the wild the astrodelphus from genesis 2 are they aggressive i actually can't remember oh i'm out of stamina or oh, no um yeah this isn't the place you want to be in when you're running no i'm out i can't actually come i've lost control oh no no oh no come on not like this don't do me like this not in the water please okay good 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 just just sit tight buddy sit tight sit tight sit tight i have no idea what's about to tackle me from any direction we've got enough stamina though i'm getting out of here okay i need to pay more closer attention that could have gone horribly wrong the reason i'm even down here though is i'm looking for little cat's tails plants because they are also a really really good source of rare mushrooms flowers whatever it is but I'm not yet spotting any. And right now, I just want to land somewhere briefly so I can get some stamina boosted because now I'm now I'm terrified. Okay. We're going to do like a semi-sneaky little look across the area here. We're looking for little plants with like a white little tip on them. They, from memory, are like the pretty much best source of rare mushrooms. The only thing is, like I've kind of already stated, this, this, this place sucks. Like, like really really sucks Ooh, that's a plant species x thing i think i i think i actually oh i need those seeds but there is no way that i'm fit to be running around down there currently another quick little stamina check and while we're in a pretty easy area i'm actually thinking of checking one of these i think that these can give you rare flowers but knowing my luck we're not gonna have such luck Ooh, we got two of them and another two so that brings us to a total of six <laughs> with 34 left to collect all right while we have this experience boost i think it makes sense to kill some very easy targets for some very quick leveling um like dodos and unfortunately it doesn't look like there's any such thing as quick leveling because i have to take it takes me like 30 different hits to kill one of these guys but then again i guess this is quite a high level dodo Tell me okay we've got four levels that's that's decent i don't know what to do with these levels i think we're just going to put them in speed so we can move around a little bit easier but it doesn't really do that much for us in the long run oh i see you there little snake <laughs> i see you creeping up on me mate can't you just let me collect a little bunch of mushrooms come on all right i might have a little safe spot here i'm feeling pretty good about this one you know how I know it's safe? I can see a Fiomia, and the Fiomia is, is it's alive. 
It's healthy. It's, it's undisturbed. Good. The question is, can I harvest this? Am I even harvesting the right bush? Are you, are you meant to give me some stuff or not? <gasps> 13, 25, aha, 37. I don't even know what we can use those for, but I'm pretty sure we can use those for the, the fertilizer gun recharge thingamabobby I was looking at earlier. So that's cool. <gasps> Guys, this is what I was looking for. These are these little white tip cat's tails plants that I was... Okay, this might actually be our jackpot. What's not our jackpot is that. He does seem kind of stuck, but do I trust it? No, I don't trust it. He just snuck out. Is he just going to head away? Because if he heads away, that's good. But I don't really feel safe. Actually, I should be looking at all angles right now because I've got no idea what's coming at me right this second. I think we've actually got an opportunity here, though. I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna, am I, am I going to go for it? I'm going to go for it. I actually have no idea. Where are they? What am I looking at? Here, these guys here. Two ref flowers. Come on. Am I meant to use a sickle? I actually don't know. No, those just give me fiber. What a waste. What a waste. Break them for nothing. All right, come on. Where's these rare flowers at? This is why I need a herbivore. I need a herbivore that can harvest. Ah, oh, I'm wasting. I'm wasting. Up. This sucks. This actually, this is not good. This is not good. These are meant to give me the rare flowers. And I'm getting absolutely trash drops out of all of this. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't believe I flew around looking for those things for like 10 minutes and I got two rare flowers out of the entire batch. That sucks. All right, new plan. I'm just going to cruise down the river here until I find a beaver dam. I think that is our only option. Okay, guys, we have a slight little issue. <laughs> it didn't take too long, but uh, I'm being pursued by some bats, which is awesome. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's great. That's great news. Yay. And I'm also quite low on stamina, so that's also quite lovely. Also, is that a is that an apex? <gasps> apex dino! Look, it's not what we're looking for right this second, but um that would be really, really handy if it could drop, I don't know, some weapons that I can't craft up. There's also a Kano next to us, so that's that's not that's not handy. That's really bad as a matter of fact. But the dialo is good. But now the dialo is right next to the Kano, so that's not good. However, Kano be looking kind of angry. What is he even doing? He's just headbutt. <laughs> he just he just had a sudden urge to headbutt a tree, I suppose. I have no idea. Oh, no. He's coming to headbutt us. Oh, did I? Yep. Cool. Okay. Just in time, I think. We, we kind of pulled back. That's good. That's it, buddy. <laughs> Sucker. Now for this guy. Unfortunately, my dude here got quite a bit of health. And being an apex, he's probably going to wipe the floor with my pteranodon, which is not ideal. Oh, now I've got these guys to deal with too. Are you joking? All right, it's all good. It's all good. A little bit of free experience. Oh, what in the world? <gasps> they knocked him out. They knocked it out. Are you, are you... All right, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. I can't die out here. I don't want to die out here. Please don't let me die out here. Get out of here. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, since when do dragonflies knock out your dinosaurs? Oh, that's nice. But also not exactly what I'm looking for right this second. Um, I need to save my Tyranodon because he's getting his butt whooped by some dragonflies. Not good. One second. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. You know what? Just break the rock. We'll just break the rock. Uh, okay. He's awake. Awesome. He's not looking too good either. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're out of here. We're out of here. <laughs> okay. <gasps> no stamina. No stamina. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, only just. Not only just. Maybe only just. I have no idea. Uh, oh, he's asleep again. All right. Careful. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're done. We're done for. I know what's right beneath me right now. And it ain't pretty. Um, well, it is kind of pretty, but it's not safe. I need to get off up this cliff right this second. Please don't slide down it. Please. There's got to be a way up this thing. Because I am pretty sure he's going to find a way up if we're not careful. He's totally coming up. No, can you just... Can you just ignore me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, please. Ah, no, no, no. I should have just stayed what I was doing. Oh, he's above me. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. I'm dead. Hmm... Yeah, that hurts. This is Ark right here. <laughs> this is one of those, those those moments where there is no way forward without just 
throwing yourself at the problem and crossing your fingers and hoping oh my why is what why 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 that looks that is an enormous that's a huge t-rex right that's not an ordinary that thing looks he, that's jumbo sized i don't know why why does that look so weird what looks off about that something looks off about that t-rex i'm just going to ignore it because that's what we're going to do right now i've got no options other than to just run into the swamp run across the river and just cross my fingers and hope that i can get over there in one piece that is our only solution right now i need to somehow get too much rounded on without dying and i do not like the odds i do not like the chances I do not like a single thing about this. All right, this is where things are about to get funky, but I need to make it across this river somehow. So I am just gonna, yeah, no, we are dead. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. Maybe we're not dead. We alive. We alive. We alive. I see Baryonyx. Mm, not good. Okay. I'm just gonna have to use the surroundings to our advantage here, I think. But. I can get across here oh gosh I'm running straight towards Osako I just need to use these trees to protect me from the wildlife oh seriously it had to be an apex oh I got so close to that was such a good run maybe we just try a different spawn point in fact why don't we just spawn on the other side of the swamp what's the worst that could happen except for you know having absolutely no idea what's over this side of the swamp i see a raptor i see a kano i see death i see death everywhere i'm dead i'm dead <laughs> i'm so dead oh no <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> oh, come on. As I was going to say, desperate times call for desperate measures. But unfortunately, um, well, I mean, I don't know. Something something just killed my little baby Tyranodon. I'm going to assume, yeah, I'm going to assume it was the Allosaurus. But I went and got myself another Tyranodon. I probably should have just done this in the first place. Tame up a freshie and um, let's go save the day. We're back. <laughs> the question is, did our Tyranodon survive? Okay. That answers that question. I don't recall seeing the death message, um, but he dead. He 100% dead. I can see his little backpack there. I can also see a giant T-Rex standing right on top of where it was. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to be dead with it. Okie dokie. Um, what are we going to do? I need to get the T-Rex away from my bag. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting teams killed left, right, and center. This, man, they can, well, there's no way you can, you're meant to be able to run up a cliff like that either. That's not natural. You're literally falling and you're glitching into the cliff. Where's the realism, man? I'm pretty sure. Well, are they... Look, I know that we weren't around at the same time as dinosaurs, but I'm pretty sure there is a common agreement that dinosaurs can't glitch into land. That, 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 that's, not how, that's, not how, that's not how things work. Do you think he's going to let me grab my stuff? No, he's not going to let me grab my stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe I can just lure him over here and we can kind of like distract him a Dutch, but I don't, I don't know. I don't like our chances. Also, I still stand by the fact that that, that, that T-Rex near my base is no ordinary T-Rex because this one looks tiny compared to that giant one that just like flew down on top of our beach. Yeah, something's off about that one that we've got near our base. I actually have no idea how I'm going to collect this bag. If I dismount, I'm going to, I'm going to slide straight down this cliff, aren't I? Either ways, the predators have at least evacuated the area. So I should at least be able to grab this. And we've done exactly that. Okay. It's a good start. Now, will they be so kind as to let me grab this one as well? I got a really bad feeling about this. But somehow we managed to get out of there without any issues. You know what? Maybe maybe we don't need them. <laughs> maybe we just keep continue trying to find that beaver dam. I, I think that might actually be the right choice. Well, we've officially entered, I don't know, unknown territory out here. And I'm not feeling good about it because I'm looking around and nothing really screams safety to me. However, beavers and a beaver dam. That also does not scream safety to me. That beaver dam is in the water. Oh, snap. Oh, gosh. Um, that 100% that, that does not scream safety to me. Our first dragon. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what? We are literally living in the best place on this map, I'm pretty sure. Because from what I've seen today, anywhere else 
is pretty much death everywhere. We are, we must just live on like little passive beach and <laughs> everywhere we go else other than that is um is, is not looking too good. I really just need to find a beaver dam that's not in water. If I can find one that's not submerged, that just gives me an opportunity to jump in, grab its contents and get my butt out of there. That would be fantastic. Hello, dragon. I see you, buddy. I see you. Don't you worry. What's that? Yes, I am 100% trying to ignore you right now. I am pretty sure that's a mega dragon too, which is extra bad. Oh, it's another beaver dam right there. Unfortunately, though, we got a few beavers to deal with as well. Am I actually about to attempt this? This is all or nothing here, by the way, guys. We either succeed at this or I rage quit. You know what? I count five beavers in the immediate vicinity. I think I've got what it takes to get in and out. You know what? Let's break a couple of these little rocks here. Park my Tyranodon right here. And then... Oh, boy. This is not good. This is not good. We are, like, severely surrounded. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to do it. 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 I got to be really quick about this, though. And it didn't even have anything that we needed of use. No! <laughs> oh, that was literally all for nothing. Ah, this game. All I want is to forget everything.